welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is good YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and I want to thank you guys for joining me for another video here on the channel. Today we got our first look at the new Superman costume from James Gunn and we're going to talk about it right here right now. But before we get started in the video like always I remind you guys if you're not a current sub of the channel do yourself a favor hit that sub button you won't regret it. Do me the solid hit the like button for me we're trying to get to 10,000 likes by the end of the year. With that said, James Gunn finally posted his first pic of Superman in costume, and here we have it, and people are going apeshit in the comment section on Instagram, all right? So we're going to go through it together. I want to hear what you guys like about the costume. I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like, and then we'll go from there, okay? So <clears throat> for me, the first thing I noticed were the boots bright red that's what i wanted to see and i want to see a darker version of the superman costume like Zack snyder's i thought that was awful uh there were no red trunks either just way too dark of a film considering how bright and beautiful superman is in real life and i don't mean to sound ridiculous with that comment but superman is the best of the best when we're talking about superheroes so he deserves to have a bright blue and red costume so the boots hit it right out of the park uh next thing we're going to get to is the actual spandex i guess the costume itself again the blues right where it should be in my opinion nice and bright i do enjoy the texture that they did use for the costume itself and guess what we got the trunks back that's what we wanted that was the main thing that was missing from the snyder movies the trunks are back with the yellow belt that is classic superman and then exactly what all fans of the character want the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I don't actually like. The thickness of the suit, at least in the top portion area, seems to be very thick, right, along the, the hand line as well. Too thick, I think, for this costume. You can see it's starting to scrunch up a bit along his shoulders. I'm not too sure why they went with such a thick costume. It just doesn't look right to me uh, because of that thickness, but to each his own. Hopefully, it looks a little bit better when we see it on screen, so I'm not going to go nuts over that. The one other thing I notice about the chest emblem and the top portion of the costume is the dark areas. I'm not sure if it's just worn. Maybe it's this is after or before a scene, a battle scene. That could be possible. When James Gunn shared the first uh, chest logo that we saw, there was no worn areas. So I'm hoping this is just you know a temporary thing during the movie. Um, we've seen the Kingdom Come style Superman logo a few months back, so I'm not going to touch on that. It looks a lot better on costume than it did in the picture he showed. I will say that. So that looks very good. Overall, you know, like I said, the scrunching doesn't look right to me, but the main thing that bothers me about this costume, you could see, is where the cape is tucked into the front of the costume. To me, that just looks weird. And it's because, if you guys notice, he has a little bit of a collar right around the neck. The suit comes up a little bit too high, in my opinion. All other previous Superman costumes actually tucked in under the costume over here. It came around the uh, the neckline, around where your shoulder blades are, and of course your collarbone. So to me, if they had stuck with tucking in the cape towards the inner part of the costume, it would look a hell of a lot better. But the cape is long, it's beautiful, a bright red, and we shouldn't overreact from one picture, right? We don't know what the actual costume is going to look like in action. We could have a little CGI to add on to this thing as well. So let's not panic. But overall, I think they did a good job. Um, can definitely tell that it's Superman. A little bit of a different take, but I'm glad we finally got that bright, beautiful Superman back in action. I hated that freaking Zack Snyder costume. It didn't look like Superman to me. I loved Henry Cavill. I thought they did a great job. But the costume is everything when we're talking about Superman. We can go back and talk about Christopher Reeve and his costume. I absolutely loved it to me to this date it was still the best superman costume of all time in my opinion even better than this one but i'm just happy they got the colors right i'm happy they got the trunks right happy they just put it together and it looks like a good superman costume a couple of things i want to say like i said before i want to get rid of is the thickness of the costume uh the dirt areas we'll see it doesn't really bother me too much and where they tuck in the cape uh, in the front of the costume it just does not look right to me but other than that I cannot complain. So I want to hear from you guys out there. What do you think of this costume? What do you like? What do you dislike? Is it better than the Zack Snyder costume? Is it better than the Christopher Reeve costume? And tell me which one you like the best. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Commerce and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.